to understand socialism and Marx and Engels' position on socialism, we must first understand what socialism means. Um, socialism is very different than communism in the way that socialism in itself is very generalized and it is very open to um, changes and is very vague. Whereas communism has the same idea, it is also spoken about by, I believe, Engel in the uh, the book that we were, the social and political philosophy. Um, it speaks on how Engel believed that there is enough movement and there is enough uh, space to grow as time goes on and reasoning goes on um, that it would allow for it to be changed with time, um, but never to be manipulated in the same way that socialism in itself would be. Um, to understand socialism, we must know that it is a political and economic point of view that kind of displays the same functions as community in an ecosystem where each person carries out their duties, um, something we've seen before with other philosophers. Um, each person carries out their duties, but with um, Marx and Engels' idea of duties, they feel that they are not limited to a single thing, but that um, companies becoming monopolized or um, capitalism in itself is inhibiting people from Compete, uh, completing human di like tasks that human find diverse or that by sticking to one thing you are inhibiting a human from going off and doing other things uh, that you are basically chained to your job we can uh, see that Karl Marx and um, Engel believe that socialism as described in the early models is very different than socialism in the modern sense uh, socialism in the uh, early models they believe is to be very utopian and very um, distant from reality something that becomes almost unachievable because of the reality of corruption and manipulation of said system um, Marx and Engel also believe that not only are the bottom of the pyramid or what we would consider the uh, the workers the wage workers are not only are they the ones being affected by the system but they're also, the capitalists are also affected by where they stand in society. They are limited to um, this capitalistic ideal. Um, and that it's a common belief that history itself um, struggles with the class system um, and that it is an ongoing problem no matter what eight day and age it is, whether it be 100 years from today uh, in the future or 300 years in the past, class struggle has always existed. Um, and we can see socialism as getting what you deserve and what you've worked for and what you earned as a human, whereas communism believes that equal distribution should be handled uh, to everyone, not, de not determined by what you give a society. The way we have chose to handle any mention of Marx's idea with Engel on their, um, on their piece of journalism that they can that they call the communist manifesto um we as a society have viewed it in a very controversial way um we had the red scare um where it became fairly obvious that um there was a belief that insurrectionist would come about in um the united states uh, we've seen other uh, known countries um, honor it and think of them as a vi think of um, Marx's idea of communism as a viable way with the Soviet Union. Um, it becomes fairly obvious that the idea of socialism and communism and believing that to even out the scales, to even out the pyramid in a way, of working class to capitalist and so on and so forth, it is necessary for the working class to inevitably throw um, the governing class over. Marx and Engel believe that communism is a better approach than socialism simply because communism is more realistic and is more uh, malleable than um, socialism and also because it seems as the most humane thing to do is to disperse equally as opposed to 
dispersing once again to some extent of value that it comes back to this idea that the value of a human is how much work they contribute whether it be for crops whether it be for um actual product or whether it be for their work in general or how they may sit in a society or how important they are in a society that it all comes down to the value of a person whereas that um idea should be completely eliminated and all humans should be treated equally um so it is a uh, very uh, prominent that Karl Marx and Engel believe that um, there is no other way to have a successful uh, communist society than to have a governing body, but not in the typical sense, but rather in a uh, socially acceptable and um, pyramid, like a uh, something that benefits everybody that both the lower class and the middle class and the higher class can appreciate. Something we've seen um, a couple chapters back. Um, we can also discuss how um, the problem they see is that a lot of people are not willing to, a lot of people sitting in the capitalistic uh, point of view aren't seeing the damage they're doing to wage workers and how um, unfair they're treating a lot of these things. How um, we can look at 1842 when growers in Europe um, basically fell to poverty and uh, ended up killing themselves uh, as we saw in the documentary uh, because they opened the market as opposed to having a private market and um, that allowed for more competition and these small-time growers were now becoming victim to um, we're now becoming victim to this competition and having no money for their families or for food. And um, a lot of these people were the breadwinners in their family. And they, they would rather see themselves as um, dead than less, than less um, manly or um, not being able to give their, their families the life they deserve. Um, uh, this new thought offered by Marx... Um, we go back to this idea of like the utopian fantasy that is socialism. Um, we find out that uh, Marx did have a uh, journalistic career besides the Communist Manifesto in which he um, uh, often ruffled a lot of the politicians at the time or a lot of the influential uh, people at the time. He ruffled their feathers and told them, um, told them what he thought, where he thought they failed, where he thought they had room to grow. Um, which inevitably left led to the shutdown of his uh, printing press, but um, he believed that we as humans are productive um, individuals and that capitalism and large banks have come to, uh, not banks, sorry, large um, power hold, or like high power um, holding um, characters in society um, have limited humans and to their... Um, to explore their full extent um and that under capitalism we all have become victims to our roles in society um i believe that there was a historical value to when he introduced his idea and the communist manifesto came to be i do believe that it is still controversial to this day um we see a clear growth in the acceptance of it but also the theoretical point of view and philosophical way that we just we um speak about it so much so that um it's come up in a lot of uh, political discussions recently with the uh, a lot of candidates we're seeing for uh, senators or presidents or and not even just in this country but in multiple countries around the world we're starting to see this growing idea that um marxism is a not so far-fetched idea but it is a um interesting theory seeing countries that are overthrown with uh that are ha being handled under dictatorships and at this point have reached the point where people are asking or hoping that the wage workers do end up overthrowing this these governments and these capitalistic ideals um so i believe that there is a psychological basis for um these new thoughts because as society has moved forward and people have started to voice their opinions more openly it allows for um what would be considered back in the day the bourgeoisie um to open their eyes to what really is 
the majority of um, society and that they are at risk themselves.